Hello and welcome back. It's not exactly puzzle time because this is a puzzle that you've already seen earlier, a few days ago actually. This is more of a, a mea culpa time where if you have the constructor of the puzzle saying that you've solved it wrong, you know that you've solved it wrong. And um, this is my attempt to correctly solve it now. So Little Zippers by GDC. You've seen this puzzle where in essence we've got the following set of rules normal Sudoku rules, so that means the digits 1 to 6 in every row, every column, and every 3 by 2 box. And then lastly, this new rule set of zipper lines, where in essence in the middle is a digit of some sort, let's say this is, um, I don't know, whoop, it's trying to go for A, then these two digits must add up to A, these two digits must add up to A, these three digits must add up to A, and so on and so forth. Well, let me restart the clock, see if I can actually do it this time, and uh, wish me luck. So I am going to mark the center so I just don't lose where they go. And in particular, this center is fairly obvious. So red can't go here, Sudoku prevents it, can't go there because you can't have red plus a zero to add up to red. So this is the only place that is red. Now, the other thing about it is this is the only place that a 6 can be because all the other cells in box 5 imply that there is a 6 plus another cell. There's at least a 1 adding up to a digit that's bigger than 6. And clearly that's not allowed in a 6 by 6 grid. Red is 6. And we can probably do a few quick cleanups as a result. Let's take a look at box 2 maybe. Uh, maybe not. We know 6 is in there. 6 is here. Actually, easier. There you go. 6 must be there in box 4. 6 is not here, not there, not there, not here because of Sudoku. It is 6 there, not 6 here, 6 there. That's almost all the 6 is done. Now, the next one to start with, I'm going to call this orange, and I'm going to try and essentially figure out, well, the hint that we've been given by GDC is we should really just forget what the value is of this color for a second, just try and actually paint the grid. So that's what I'm going to do. Orange can't be here, Sudoku prevents it, can't be there, otherwise we'd be again adding a zero to get back to the same color. This is the only place that orange can be. Um, orange can't be in there either. Uh, so not here. Sudoku prevents it. Not there because it would add up back to orange. So orange is in here and orange is in there. Can we do anything else about orange at this point? I'm going to say not really because it can be one of these three cells and it can be one of these four cells. So I'm not going to color that. That's just going to be messy. However, what I am going to do is start to think about colors that add up to red and colors that add up to orange. Now, the six in particular, the red, I should say, is fairly helpful in the sense that these three digits are all unique. These three digits are all unique. However, when it comes to the orange, that is not entirely true. I know that these three are unique, but, but I'm not entirely sure if these three are unique or not. And I want to have a think about that for a second. So let's give this a color, blue. Now, let's assume for a second no, that's a bad choice. I don't know what two colors add up to orange, but let's assume for a second blue and yellow add up to orange. Where does blue go in box four? Now, it's clearly not in these two cells. One option is it's in here. But if it does, it implies there is another yellow in here. So I don't think this cell could be the same as either of these. This has to be unique. And therefore, blue joins 
its orange counterpart in here. And we actually know which one is which, because blue adds plus something. I'm going to lose the yellow in a second. I don't think it's helpful. But blue plus whatever this cell is adds up to orange. So it is the smaller digit of the two. And we know that blue and orange add up to this cell. Um, I am going to actually color them, and I am going to go for yellow. So these two are yellow. These are not yellow, just Sudoku. That's yellow. Yellow is somewhere on here, meaning blue is somewhere on there. Blue and blue, that's blue. Going to go with, this is green, therefore that's not green. That is green. Uh, what color have I not used? Purple. And therefore, this is purple. Right. Um, I'm a bit stuck, if I'm honest. So orange, orange, tells us there is another orange in here. So one possibility is orange maps onto itself, which would only mean that orange is three. However, we can take a clue from box two that orange has at least three different digits that are smaller than it, since we've got blue, green, and yellow adding up to orange. So orange is at least four and a maximum of five because we've used up six already. So I'm going to just put that in there for now and just use that piece of information that orange maps onto a different color and a different color, sorry, and then orange maps back onto that different color. So we almost need to figure out what is the pairing of orange and something that adds up to red. And the answer to that question is it's either, because we haven't used them yet in this, it's purple or green, it's not yellow. So it's not blue, it's not yellow, it's not red. It's purple or green, which will get very messy if I try and do this. Am I gonna do this? What I might do is temporarily use another color. Yeah, that's a little bit easier. So gray is either, what did I say it was? Purple or green? Yeah, purple or green. And then gray in here is again, purple or green. So we know this cell is either yellow or the other one of the purples or greens. So I'm going to use another color, black maybe, because we know it's not, this is definitely an orange-gray pair, therefore this cannot be gray, it can be yellow, or it could be the other green, sorry, purple, green, which I'm going to call as black, and I guess that would be black as well, to make this a complete set, yep. Then we have red and gray. Actually, that's quite helpful because gray is not this cell. So that's gray, that's red, that's red. This is yellow or black, although we've got a yellow in here, so that is definitely black. This is definitely yellow. This is definitely black. Yellow and, it was, yep, yellow and blue. That was the definition of them. Therefore, blue, green, and black. And we don't know if they're the same one. For example, if this is a four, if that was a green, that could be two twos. So I still don't know if black in here is green or purple. Let me just tidy this up. These are not sixes. These are sixes. We know that this is a yellow blue pair, isn't it? Yeah, blue, blue, yellow, yellow. 
this is gray. Therefore, this is not gray, this is orange. This is not orange, this is gray. That's gray, that's orange. That's black, and that's orange, and that's black. Right, has that helped us at all? I was meant to say this is purple or green, wasn't it? So gray is definitely not purple, because we've got it in the column, and black is definitely not green, because we've got that in the column. So these are all greens, these are all purples, and now we've fully colored the grid, I'm gonna say. Is that correct? I think so. Right, coloring, well, actually solving. Let's go, let's do that first. So I still don't quite see how GDC is saying you don't have to figure out if there are four or fives. I just, I don't see it. So we've got a pair, blue, yellow, blue, yellow, but we've got a second pair that are different digits, which is the green and purple. So if this was four, essentially what we're saying is one, three, one, three, and then twos that are using different colors, which is impossible. So in my mind, that tells me that this has to be a five and it's part of the solution path. The fives have to be joined with ones to get to six. So green is one, one plus four. It is a four, yep. To get to the five. Um, four plus the two to get to six. We got that here on the six. And then we're left with yellow is three, which works. And that's a correct solve for this puzzle. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm not sure that this is necessarily intuitive. It's just, you know, when I when I look at this puzzle, I feel like we should be using the zipper lines a lot more than just trying to think about coloring. And if I think around how I solve the nine by nine, which is really the video that you should be solving right now, I use colors, but nowhere near as much as this. But um, I believe that's the correct solve. I'm sure I'll be told otherwise in the comments below. Um, and apologies for getting the solution incorrect first time round. Hope you enjoyed this correction. And uh, as always, looking forward to reading your comments. Bye for now.